In the journey to becoming a successful photographer, it's easy to fall into the trap of focusing on all the wrong aspects of the craft. But notice this, through hundreds of hours of consulting with emerging and struggling photographers, I've realized that there's a pattern that seems to repeat itself over and over again. Even photographers with years of experience still don't know what they should be doing day to day in order to move their business forward. I studied this intensely and I know why this is happening. If that sounds like you, by the way, maybe you're majoring on the minors or you're putting all your attention on minor things. Maybe you're minoring on the majors, which is putting no attention on the things that desperately need your attention. Either way, this could be leading to frustration, stagnation, and definitely missed opportunities. So let's break down these pitfalls so you can understand how to avoid them. If this is the first time you've ever seen me, I'm Cardi. I help emerging and struggling photographers that are committed to changing their their current nine to five reality to the life of someone that gets paid for their ideas, their creativity, and their photography. I've been a working pro, by the way, for 33 years. You can learn more about me in the video description. I've been helping photographers just like you transition to working pro since 1995, and I'm here to help you create your ideal photography life through immersive professional education. The key to overcoming these challenges is to shift your focus to what genuinely contributes to your success. When you prioritize what actually propels your photography business forward, you can align your efforts with your goals and actually accelerate your progress. Many photographers invest heavily in high-end gear and lighting equipment, but they neglect to develop their skills in executing ideas or attempt to build any kind of client base. This results in having killer gear, but no clients, killer lights, but weak skills when it comes to knowing how to use them. Shift your focus from the equipment to your craft and client relationships. Invest time in learning and practicing new techniques. Take workshops, watch tutorials, and seek constructive feedback. Network with potential clients and collaborators, attend industry events, join photography groups, and actively promote your services. Learn to make the most out of your current equipment, understand its capabilities and its limitations, and focus on improving your technique rather than constantly upgrading gear. Some photographers prioritize social media metrics and their perceived value over the quality of their actual work. They care more about likes and followers than they do about home owning their craft or being authentic. Focus only on producing high quality work and actually being true to yourself. Prioritize creating outstanding work rather than churning out content for the sake of social media engagement. Your reputation will grow organically as a result of your high standards. Be genuine in your interactions and with your content. Share your journey, your insights, and your experiences rather than trying to project a certain type of image. Define clear, meaningful goals for your photography career that go beyond social media success. Focus on the long-term achievements rather than short-term popularity. Caring less about status and more about success means avoiding mindless content and focusing on beneficial information that actually addresses your specific problems. Prioritize learning and growth that directly contributes to your success. Seek out resources and training that addresses your specific needs and challenges. Avoid distractions and focus on information that'll actually help you progress. Be selective about the content that you consume. Follow experts who provide valuable insights and avoid content that doesn't add any real value to your development. Regularly evaluate your progress and adjust your learning goals. Stay committed to continually improving and always trying to learn. It's a lifelong thing. Many photographers overlook the value of intelligent imitation. They're trying to reinvent the wheel instead of learning from successful professionals in their niche. Use intelligent imitation to mirror successful photographers' strategies, their techniques, and their mindsets. Analyze the work of successful photographers in your niche, identify what makes their work stand out, and how they achieve those results. Adopt the techniques and practices that have been 
proven to work for decades. This includes using similar gear, applying similar shooting techniques, and adopting a professional mindset. While mirroring successful photographers, make sure you add your own unique touch, adapt their strategies, but make sure they fit into your own style and vision and innovate everywhere. To thrive as a photographer, it's critical to focus only on what really matters. By avoiding the pitfalls of majoring on the minors and minoring on the majors, and instead focusing on genuine growth and using intelligent imitation, you can align your efforts with your actual photography goals. This strategic approach will not only enhance your skills and your client relationship, but also set you on a path to long-term success. Remember, success in photography is not just about gear or social media numbers. It's about honing in on your craft, building meaningful relationships, and continually learning and adapting. Embrace these principles and you'll find yourself on a fulfilling and prosperous photography journey. I'm looking for the right type of shooters, by the way, with this content and the right attitude and drive that are committed to getting to the next level in their career. I've started a professional photography accelerator. I have the ambitious aim to help you make $100,000 with your camera in 12 months. I'm looking for 50 photographers. And if you're wanting to be one of those 50, details are in the video description below. I provide free information for emerging and struggling pros right here multiple times per week on YouTube all you need to do is subscribe. And if this video brought you value, hit the like button so it can get pushed out to more people so I can bring more value to them. Leave a comment and tell me what the most helpful part of this video was. If you need more inspiration, I give it to you straight in this video. Watch that one next and I will see you on that one. Thank you so much for watching.